Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to create a macro that allows you to loop through all the worksheets in your workbook and apply actions to selected sheets based on your condition. Um, so I actually did a similar kind of macro before where um, you can basically write a macro and it allows you to sum, sum up everything in individual tabs um, in this and then you can after that, you can get a sum uh, with um, all the total. So the so you basically have so the macro code that you have allows you to loop through all the uh, worksheets in your tab. I found that's a really uh, really handy uh, macro to use. So today I'm gonna teach you how to create that and also how to apply uh, your directions to selected tabs. So this is like, for example, let's say this is the case that we're going to have. So we have um, different tabs for different salary information for different departments, as you see. And then let's say that for whatever conditions, I want to make sure I for those sales related departments, I want to hide uh, column H and I. And I want to do that in one with one VBA code. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. And as usual, you don't need to uh, copy the macro codes. It's going to be pasted in the description for you to paste, um, uh, copy and paste and customize for your purpose. But I will explain to you um, how the code is and what it means line by line. OK, so this is the code that's this part is a code that's linked to this uh, bottom there. And then let's just go through them line by line. And actually, for example, let's go to one tab and then see what I'm trying to do here. So uh, the first part is to define what you're trying to achieve. So um, I is on, uh, so we say uh, define I as an integer, which I will stand for the sheet numbers. And this is the number that you are seeing here. The sheet numbers is actually not the number that not the title that you give to each sheet is the number within um, like behind uh, the sheet number count that Excel has, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> and then we're going to um, define worksheet number as integer, uh, which going to be the total number of the count and then worksheet as worksheet. And then I, I'm going to define worksheet number as the worksheet count for every single worksheet in this in this book. So actually, if I write a code here, if I create a message box, uh, which shows the number um, of shows this number, and I, I run it now, I, and then let's say I run it close. Now it's going to pop up a message box and showing me how many worksheets I have in my tab. So let's try that. Um, so actually, let me stop it there. And then let me click on it. And then here we go. So it shows uh, the message box shows me that I have nine tabs in my workbook. So this is just something for you to validate uh, your worksheets. And then we don't need that. So we can um, change that as a comment. So the VBA doesn't run it. OK, so now comes to the core part of our um, function, which is this. Um, so what I'm doing here is creating a loop function and it says that for i equals to one starts from one to which number which in my case is nine um, this is my comment all the green parts are my comments if this sheet let's say sheet number one name is sales is one of those or 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 um, you have to apply this if you are starting a next line of code. If you don't, let's say if you put everything into one line, you don't really need to do that. So you can, the code can also look something like this, but then it's going to be really long, right? And then you have a then here. So in order for the um, code to look better, this is what I try to do. Like I try to make them um, look like this. So, okay. So for my condition, I'm saying that if my sheet number is one of those three, then I apply a certain action. So the action in my case is a very simple action. So it's like I activate this worksheet and then I hide column H to I. And then after that, I end my if statement. 
So, so basically, they still know that I don't have an else. You don't have to have an else function if you're doing nothing there. So it's basically saying that if my shit is one of the three, do this. If not, end this statement and go to the next one. And then the next, which allows you to go to the next worksheet. And then it's going to loop through all the worksheets that you have. And it doesn't matter how many you have. And then you can create also create the new tabs for as many as you want. And then this loop function will still apply. And then after that, it loops through all the nine tabs and then it ends. OK, so now um, let's run this code and see what happens. Uh, I just run it. OK, so now you can see in my self support, it's hidden. Those columns are hidden, hidden, hidden. But then in all my other tabs, they're not hidden. Yeah, that's it. So the core part for this um, uh, for this VBA is really just this four and next. And then you must define worksheet number count over there. And then this part is really where you're adding whatever action you want to apply to the selected uh, sheets of your workbook. OK, so I will paste this into the description. And um, this is everything I want to cover today. Hope that is helpful to you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.